Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Iron Factory Heat Death IFX42 <laughs> So yeah, this is the um, sort of Transmetal Dragon uh, Megatron from the Beast Wars movie and Yeah, this is Iron Factory's take on it, and it's amazing. I know there's like two other uh, company that made the uh, Dragon uh, Red Dragon Megatron, Megatron. Uh, sort of more like a masterpiece size, but uh, yeah, they they are uh, they cost a lot. <laughs> so I went with the Iron Factory one. So yeah, uh, box here, the go stuff on me, Megatron robot mode in, on the one side. Uh, again, robot mode. On the back we have a couple of shots of uh, Megatron in robot mode and dragon mode. QR code if you if you want to visit the Iron Factory Weibo website. And that's pretty much it. In my box did um, <laughs> did got banged banged up a little bit, but yeah, the figure itself is pretty perfect in it. So yeah, we've got the figure right here. Nothing in the box. Instructions. Now transformation is uh, complicated, but not too much once you know everything uh, where everything goes. So it's not that bad, but yeah, instruction did help a little bit. They're pretty good. Open this up, yeah. So, yeah, it starts with here robot mode to uh, dragon mode eventually. <laughs> but yeah, it takes on both sides, and the instructions are pretty big. So, yeah, there's one part, uh, especially this one part right here, that is super weird uh, to understand what happens. But I'll show you during transformation now that I've got the hang of it. So, yeah, dragon mode. Uh, let's move this side. So, we've got the figure right here and a couple of its accessories. Open us up. We've got Megatron right here. And we have, first up, a couple of hands, uh, open hands, which are really cool. Focus. Uh, yeah, really nice to open the hands. Uh, good for the posing, but not good for the transformation. So, yeah, just a heads up. Really cool. And we also have two other hands which are more like open-handed. Uh, kind of like um, open fists for getting a weapon, but there's no weapon. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Once again, uh, transformation uh, doesn't really work with these hands as they require the closed fist hands which are already set uh, set up on the figure. So, yeah, cool. For posing, but not much else. So, uh, and we have Megatron right here. A little bit uh, mistransform if you, may, if you wish from the box, so just Going to open up the wings, just make it look like more badass. Right here, move the shoulder up like this. Close the head and take out the tail on the back. So yeah, we have Megatron. Amy looks really damn cool. Uh, I was, what do you say, the plastic? feels flimsy but it's really not I, i've been playing with it a lot and uh nothing broke so far i was really afraid that it would but no so far i'm pretty uh, pleasantly surprised at how solid this figure is so yeah lots of details the head right here let me focus we have tiny tiny red eyes head is on a ball joint so it can move side to side up down uh, the arms again, nice details for the head of dragon. Does have the mouth close open? We can extend it, close it, more like uh, on the fist cannon. Uh, the shoulder has nice metallic paint. The shoulder is on a swivel like this, but also on a ball joint, so it can rotate and move a bit. Uh, this part can lift up like this, and we can have the arm pop out. Well, uh slip out we do have rotation at the uh, upper elbow we do have a elbow bend 90 degrees 
we do have a wristband, well, pre-wristband <laughs> rotation, and the wrist can also rotate. Now we have the closed fist right here, and my biggest gripe is the fists are pretty kind of loose in their socket. So yeah, I'll come back to this during the transformation, they keep popping out. Uh, the other arm is pretty much the same, except now we have a, a flap right here uh, for uh, uh, pretty much just uh, armored up. Again, the fist loves to pop out. Yep. Same articulation. We do have rotation at the waist. We do have, if you lift up the skirt, the leg can move forward like this, back like this. We do have knee bend that go beyond 90 degrees, which is cool. We do have a ankle tilt on the side, go up, down, down a lot. <laughs> we do have uh, also uh, heels that move up and down. So yeah, we also have the toes that can move up and down. So really a lot of articulation. Also we have a tail, so the tail can move also like this. But the tail is attached at the back of the head, so just like the original one. And we have these uh, butt flap, I guess, that goes all the way down to the calf, back of the knees, or, <laughs> yeah. But the figure itself is amazing. Oh, as for the wings, <laughs> well, I'll come back to do this in dragon mode, but we do have the wings that can move up, down, and rotate like this. If you want to have this part up and this part down, or just rotate it all the way down like this, you can also bring it on the side like this. So really, a lot of... Uh, a lot of replayability. Yep, stand crack. So yeah, really, really cool Megatron. Let's move closer. Move this a little bit down. And this is the Iron Factory one, so I don't know what to compare it with because I don't have much of the Beast Wars Transmetal era thing. So I got the uh, previous Iron Factory Megatron. So this is the one that changed into three types of Meta uh, Megatron. I got the uh, sort of G1-esque one, because I really love G1. <laughs> but yeah, you can see size-wise, pretty close. We have the Magic Square Optimus Prime, which is a totally different company. And just for the fun of it, we have the uh, official Titans Return uh, Brawl, just to show how tall he is. And uh, uh, another Iron Factory one is the Sideswipe, just different character, just to show how big he is, because he is pretty good. And a final comparison, we have my Earthrise Hoist, which I, uh, is my go-to uh, comparing figure right now. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to show how big he is, like, uh, smaller in the, uh, than a Deluxe, but yeah, he is pretty... Uh, kibble with dragon parts and everything uh, uh, everywhere, so yeah. <laughs> and I guess we can go for the transformation right now. Alright, transformation. Really, like I said, it's uh, kind of not user friendly, but it's not that bad either, so yeah. The head of the dragon, first off, you want to pull it out, and as you pull it out, just rotate the fist so that the fist goes inside of the uh, dragon head, like this. Lift up the head and rotate it all the way around like this and lift it up. You can see the uh, the crest on the head will fit sort of a, like a hinge or hole inside of the thing right here of the box and the head needs to fit inside of it like this. And then you can pull on the head like this. You may want to straighten up the wings just to uh, leave some... Uh, some space to work around. Uh, bring the wings down like this, like this, and these panels need to pass over the wings, and the wings need to be like this. So again, let's do it here. Bring this all the way over the wings, and bring the wings in the back completely, like this. Unfold the leg like this. Unfold the legs. Like this, come back to the front, <clears throat> find the ground where you can hold the figure, <laughs> lift up the chest plate, and as you lift it up, bring the arms down underneath like this, sort of, like this, 
rotate the dragon head on the, the opposite way and then you lift uh, flip this around flip this around like this so that this arm sort of like uh, the, the hinge is like 90 degrees inside flip it all the way around like this and close the fist like this and now that's that's where the fists always pop out and drives me insane so you need to put the fist like this and the wrist needs to be rotated on the other way around and again popped out this fist doesn't want to stay in but you can see there is a hole right here in the, the, uh, the stomach this is where you slide in the fist like this so you want to plug this in like this and slide the fist in oh, like this it just popped out the arm not like this bring it like this like so and then you plug the fist in and like so as you plug whoop, the fist is always plugged in perfectly but it don't plug you need to also open up this panel on the wrist or the forearm plug the wrist in and then that part that that panel that you just flip on the uh, forearm will fit inside of the hole on the crotch blade so we bring this ear plug it in plug the fist in plug this in et voila <sighs> finally so this panel just goes down this goes down the neck can be rotated all the way around like this so that part is pretty much done <laughs> Next up, uh, let's do the legs maybe. The legs, uh, take the whole thigh and split it like this. So bring the thigh squared like this. And the legs will be bent. Uh, we'll come back to this. Just needed to spread these around. These panels right here, the uh, sort of skirt. Need to bring this like this on the stomach. And then you need to rotate, flip that panel really high up. Bring the tail down, this will help. But yeah, this panel needs to be going up, over, and under the wings. Sort of like this. It's really, really hard, but yeah. <laughs> so let's do this again. So take this panel, flip this up, like so. Bring it under the wings, like this, and bring that panel over, under the wings, but over the top right here. And then you can plug it in together like this and plug it in. It's really, really weird, but yeah, it works. <laughs> Next up, take these panels, bring them down and over these. And there's a... Uh, peg hole right here that will peg onto that panel right here the uh, shoulder armor here so we want to break them down and now you have to adjust everything so that they go in perfectly Oop. doesn't want to like this no it really is like this well, got it I just popped the head. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, just a ball joint. Let me pick it up. Uh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Let's pop it back in. Voila. Uh, unplug it in. Why don't you want to? Where's my tool? This down. And this back up. Voila. Now it's plugged in. All right, so this panel doesn't want to peg in too curvely. All right, got it. No, oh, they went in perfectly now. Nice. So the legs now, you need to rotate them around so that the joint is like this. And then flip the feet. So where's the... Oh, <laughs> I also lost a leg and I didn't notice. So yeah, plug this back in. Rotate it. Rotate it. Yeah, the joints popped off really easily. That's the thing that drives me crazy. The joints are super crazy tight, but as you can see, everything popped off. 
So we got almost uh, everything done. Bring the wings up like this, up like this. Legs back, at the back of the legs can just rotate like this. Rotate them like this. In the back right here, the tail, we have chunk peg, double peg in the back of the head. Voila. And we're pretty much done. So let's just set him up. Bring the wings. And voila, we have the dragon all joined. Looking really damn cool. <laughs> so the head. Rawr. So yeah, the dragon is really nice. Like I said, just the pop, the, the, the joint that keeps popping off is just uh, annoying. But at least nothing breaks. So it's a uh, one or the other, you know. <laughs> but yeah, the dragon looks really, really damn cool. Really amazing. So yeah, better look right here. The head uh, can move, rotate mouth open and close we have the joint right here have a joint right here have a joint right here have the ball joint right here <laughs> our legs are on ball joints so as you can see they can pop and move rotate legs can be like this also have rotation here legs uh, same articulation so the knee can bend more than 90 degrees Go straight same thing for the feet tails again uh, I don't know if I put them like this or like this, but it doesn't peg, it just holds like this, so, yeah. The tail is all on ball joints, so as you uh, as you want to, wings can flip up, down, have rotation here and here, and the wings also can flip, flip open, can rotate, like this, so yeah, lots, lots, lots lots of articulation and a really amazing looking dragon you can set him up more like straight up like this and have the legs and dragon mode standing upright it works <laughs> so yeah really really cool i love the dragon mode and transformation is uh, not that complicated it's just like pegging everything into place you know I'm just playing with it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really cool. So yeah, it's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not gonna compare it. Well, can't compare it now that he's in dragon mode again with the figures, but it's not gonna be any uh, gonna be of any help. <laughs> but yeah, he, he does get much bigger, much much uh, much bulkier. <laughs> So much like uh, expanding and transformation. But yeah, really, really nice looking dragon mode. I love this. <laughs> so yeah, this is the uh, Heat Death uh, Megatron uh, Transmetal Dragon. Amazing figure from Iron Factory. I highly recommend this if you collect the smaller ones or just a fan of Beast Wars like I am. I'm actually both a fan of Beast Wars and a fan of the uh, Iron Factory uh, size legend figures and the uh, over overall smaller smart legend third party scene. It's just a really amazing this year. And Iron Factory has tons more coming up uh, that I really want. They just came out with a Leo uh, Optimus Prime. I'm not a fan of it, but he is really cool. I might get it. I don't, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> because there's still so much more uh, figure coming up that I want to get my hands on from uh, Iron Factory. Especially that Bludgeon and Soundwave and uh, so many. So yeah, really cool figure. I highly recommend it. I picked this up on uh, SeerToys.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below the video if you're interested. I really recommend this. It's an awesome figure. Really, uh, lots of replayability. It's solid, even though it doesn't feel like it. It really is uh, solid. As you can see, a couple of joints popped during the review, but nothing broke, and there's no stress mark at all anywhere. So that's a really plus for me. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.